Welcome back team and this is your CrossFit style training for full body. This workout is definitely very demanding and will challenge your stamina and your endurance. I will be with you all the way through so don't worry and we will do it as a team. So we don't lose any more time my friends. Let's begin right away and let's dive in our first body weight cardio block of this workout. You will need your jump rope. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. You will just pretend that you do and imitate the movement. Your first body weight exercise in this block is your skipping jumping rope. We have 50 reps approximately. One rep more is better than one rep less. So let's begin. So while we're doing this jumping rope exercise, skipping, I'm gonna give you even more precise Hands up what to expect from this workout. Hands through, guys. As you can see, I have a variety of the heavy dumbbells. I have a 30 pound, 20 pounds weight, and 15 pounds. 20 through, guys. Keep on skipping on your jumping rope. Keep on breathing. And we have 30 through already. I also have a 20 pound kettlebell in just in case. I don't intend to use it, but just in case, I have 15 pounds. We have 10 more reps, guys. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very sweaty. First exercise. All right. I intentionally didn't put in the title of this workout that we have to complete today 700 reps. But you would be surprised that it's much easier than it sounds. All right, let's stay hydrated. And we will move to the second exercise body weight of this block, which is your regular air squat. We have 50 of those, so step wider. Reach those arms all the way to the front. And let's begin. I want to see a good quality. Low air squats, I count. If I miss couple, we will just do a couple more. And almost first, 10 through, all the way guys. Back into the glutes, 10 finished. So as I said, we have 700 reps today to complete for our CrossFit style workout. We're using heavier weights for the blocks with the kettlebells and with the dumbbells. Today we will alternate blocks with the weights and the body weight exercises. 20 through for sure. Keep on working. Pick up the pace, guys. So we can wake up the body and definitely burn more calories through the workout. And safety. Safety is number one. All right. We have about 20 reps left. Keep on working. Keep those arms, guys, straight and extended. Engage a little bit lower, my friends. Push it through. Excellent. And we have only 10 squats to finish. One, two. Stay with me, guys. I'm gonna be with you all the way through this workout. And then when it becomes really challenging, if we have to stop, we will definitely do that. So don't worry, we all will complete and we will finish strong. Last one, just in case, excellent work. Stay hydrated, guys. As I said, this is a very demanding workout today, our CrossFit style training. We need to stay hydrated. All right, cheers. Your third exercise in this body weight warm up block is your burpees. And we have 20 of them. For my low impact students, just step instead of hop. Get ready, guys. Set. Here we go. We have only 20 reps. This is it. Number three. Good job, guys. Push it through. All right. 
once we overturn, that's always feels better for each exercise. Once you over the half, I mean, half of the repetitions intended for a particular workout. Crossfit style of the training team is more simple exercises, pretty much no compounds. We work a decent amount of reps, we take a break, and we're working with the heavier weights, building stamina and endurance. All right, guys. We have 10 to finish, already nine. Carry on, push it through. Only five reps after this one. Stay with me, you can do it. I know it's challenging and from the beginning, you probably can feel it right away that this workout is not going to be easy and this is why we're doing it together our body needs challenge if we keep downgrading our abilities that's not going to help us to grow and improve last one let's do just one more just in case all right excellent your water break all right my friends your first block is total 150 reps and we're already almost through. We have 30 reps only left. And this is your challenging 30 reps. This is your regular push-ups. We will begin on the feet. As many reps as we can. And then, once we need to go on our knees, we will do it. And if you feel that you can do a couple more on your feet, you will return back on your feet. All right, hands wider than the shoulders and let's maintain a good healthy form, a good planks, guys. Get ready, hold the position. We have 30 reps to complete. I would definitely count more precisely here, I promise. Five, six, seven, eight nine if you have to pause the video ten and finish i need you to do it and finish all 30. One, two, three, four, five. a little bit lower guys six seven or put your knees on the floor if you can't finish it with a good form we have only ten to go guys here we go one two, three, I'm gonna push through, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, I can do it, excellent, if you have to, pause the video now and finish the remaining of the few reps, please do it, we're working on the repetitions guys, we have to complete 700 of them and we already threw 150 this is amazing all right here's drink your water we're going to move to the carabell block we also have 150 exercises there we have five different exercises in this block your first exercise is your stationary lunges we're gonna do 30 on one side and 30 on another side depend from what luck you're gonna start you're gonna keep your kettlebell next to the leg staying on the front and the leg is going to be stepping back for your lunges while counterbalance with your arm i'm using 20 pound for this exercise 30 reps if we have to stop we will, my friends. Here we go. I count. Put your front knee behind your toes, definitely. The leg is going to get tired. I'm going to give you heads up every five. Five through. Keep your chest lifted right above the hips. This is it. 
a little bit wider, guys. Hold the balance. We finish 10. One, two. Focus, guys, focus on the form. Excellent. Believe it or not, we halfway through on this luck. Once we over 20, this is pretty much over for this side. Two more. And this is your number 20. Here we go. We have only 10 to finish, friends. Let's go. One, two. Watch your balance. Keep your shoulders leveled, even though one side has the weight. And I wanted to mention, just forgot, if you don't have a kettlebell, you can do this workout with the dumbbells. <sighs> Breathe. We have only four to finish on this side. Four, three, two more. And one, final one on this side. Drink your water, guys. And then we're gonna do 30 stationary lunges on the other side. All right, go ahead and grab your kettlebell or the dumbbell. Again, I'm using 20 pounds. You're gonna put this kettlebell or any weight you have on the side of the leg, which is staying to the front. Counterbalance for the good form, abstinent height, begin your lunges. One. Good. Perfect. A little bit more challenging on this side for me. Maybe because body is getting tired. This is it. Perfect. Five through. Keep on working. Remember, if you have to stop in some point and finish your reps with a post video, please guys do it. Don't quit the reps. This is it. I built all of these workouts exactly for the best results. So I want you to finish it all the way through as much as possible. All right. We are halfway through, my friends. Only 15 reps left. One, two, stay with me. Breathe. This is it. This is your 20, guys. Can you believe it? Final 10. One, two. This is an amazing workout to challenge our endurance and our stamina built strengths. Keep the heart healthy. Last five, guys. Don't quit. One, two, stay tall. Three, up in, guys. Tight core. One more rep. Oh my goodness. Put this kettlebell down for a second. We just have completed 60 reps of stationary lunges and we're moving to the 20 reps, 20 reps of squats with a high pull. You can make this exercise a little bit harder and do a power high, power high pull to add a tippy toes the raster heel lift. All right, we done, don't have too much time to lose. Grab your dumbbell or your kettlebell. If you're using dumbbells, guys, in order for you to do a high pull, you will have to grab two of them, whatever weights you're using. Your power high pull is your option. Only 20 reps, we can do it. Let's go. Try not to drive up with your wrist. Elbows come first, shoulders staying in place. Come on, guys. Push it. If I had 25 pounds of kettlebell, I probably 
would use 25 for this exercise. Come on up. This is it. Are we getting for close for first step? Lower. High pull, tippy toes is your option. Come on up. All right, guys, we have only 10 left. Watch your wrist. Elbows come first. This is it. Three. Four. Come on up, guys. Five. We're really sweaty. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Big one. This was demanding for sure. All right, let's put the kettlebell or any types of weights down for a few seconds. Take a sip of water and we're moving to the most demanding exercise of this block. We have our kettlebell swing. We're gonna do 50 reps, guys. Now, I had my spare kettlebell 15 pounds just in case if I have to drop the weight I'm gonna try to go through with a 20 pounder all right step a little bit wider take a look at the demo I want to see a good swing your wrist guys steady make sure that you use leg strings back strings don't back bend keep the spine neutral abs engaged here we go, we have 50 reps. One. I'm gonna give you heads up every 10. Swing team, all the way under. Up, in and tight. Stay with me. We've got this. All right, guys, we are 10 through. Stay with me, one. Two, three, keep your wrist steady. This is it. We're climbing towards the 20 pretty quick. Don't stop. This is your 20, guys, if you're moving with me. Remember, you have to finish 50 one way or other. Stay with me, guys. 25, we're halfway through, halfway through 50. Little squat and swing under, guys. Give me a good range of motion. We would need a substantial water break after this one. All right, my friends, last 20. Swing, don't stop. This is it. Good job, guys. Up, in, and tight. Don't quit, don't quit. We are in the last 10. One, two, three, four. Stronger, guys. Five, watch your wrist. Six, seven, last three, two, last one. That was amazingly strong, guys. Put your kettlebell back. Breathe. We have final exercise of this block, and it's only 20 reps. I'm going to use my 20 pounds kettlebell. Take a look, guys, at the demo while staying hydrated. All right. Those swings were amazingly challenging at the end. Again, I have my 15 pound kettlebell in case I have to change for your goblet squat, as you saw in the demo. Your elbows would be outside, so your upper body works as well. Toes, guys, slightly out, not exactly like you do the Froger, but slightly out. Elbows outside, we have 20. One, two, three, guys. 
four elbows out. Five, six. This is it. Your first 10 is almost done. Only 10 left, here we go. One, two, three, four. Stay with me. We have only four to finish. Three, two, last one. That was challenging. All right, it's time to put our kettlebell back for now. Your next block is your body weight exercises. And by the way, we already finished 300 reps, team. Drink your water, cheers. All right, for the first exercise, you will need your jumping rope again. We're moving up, climbing the mountain. We're gonna add a little challenge. Instead of skipping, we're gonna do the regular jumping rope. If you don't have jumping rope, again, you will imagine that you do and imitate the movement. Include your arms. That's gonna bring your heart rate up even faster and using more muscles, burns more calories steam. All right. I'm gonna pretty much keep silent. It's very demanding, 50 reps. You can do your skips if you're not doing high impact. Get ready, guys. 50, I'm gonna give you a heads up every 10. Begin. 10 through. All right, my friends. 20 through. 30, guys. And last 10. Three, two, one. Maybe a couple extras. You can put your jumping rope on the floor. You won't need that jumping rope anymore today. Let's stay hydrated. Drink the water in your next body weight exercise of this block is your plie squats, guys. Your tippy toes, the rust is your option. We have 50 reps again, just like in the first block. All right, put your water back. We must finish 50. Your tippy toes, the rust is your option, guys. Arms up front right here, or here for the balance and extra work. Begin your work, one. Two, I'm gonna give you a heads up every time. This is it. Push it, guys. A little bit lower. Your heels and your tailbone right in between the heels. Then through. This is good. We're taking it to the next level from squats. Definitely. Legs on fire. This is good. All right, my friends. So we need through. We keep on climbing. Stay, 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 stay. Push it. This is it. Almost 30, guys. We have only 20 players squats left, guys. Three. Four, five, six. My legs are crying. You can do just regular plies, guys, if you have to. For less than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did it. Drink your water and your next body weight exercise of this block we have total four number three is your squat jumps we have only 20 team if you don't do your squat jumps your plyometrics your high impact you will do the squat knee lift instead 
All right. It's morning. Pretty doable. Feet slightly wider than the hips. Begin your work. One, two, three, five through. Ten finish, guys. We have only five to finish, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. I knew you can. All right. Drink your water. Your final exercise to complete this 150 reps of body weight exercises is your tricep push up. We will do this tricep on our knees unless you want to do it differently and you want to do it harder. But we work pretty hard by now. I want to make sure that everybody have a good form. All right, tilt your hips, guys. Make sure this is not your tabletop. It's forward. So your chest will dive right in between your hands. In your hands, underneath your shoulders. Scoop the stomach in. Let's crush this. I'm gonna give you hands up every five. Five through, guys. Ten is finished. Let's go. If we could do sorority on our feet, we can definitely do this. Our body is a little bit more tired. Fifteen. Sorority, guys. We have only. 10 repetitions left. We can do it. Let's go. One, two, three. Let's try not stop. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Hips back. My arms are shaking. All right. Congratulations. 450 reps is officially complete. All right, my friends. Let's drink our water and we're gonna move to our dumbbell block. Your dumbbell block, guys. Your first exercise is your deadlift. And I picked for this exercise 20 pounds each dumbbell. We have 30 deadlifts, guys. 30 deadlifts. I may switch the dumbbells for the 12 pounders or maybe 15s, but my intention is to do 30 deadlifts with a good form with a 20 pounds. So it's total 40 pounds in my hands. I want to make sure, guys, you pick appropriate weights and I'm going to stay side line, sidewise, so you can see my lower back as a reminder. Shoulders hop back and down. Shoulder blades connected, feet hips width apart. Here we go, neutral spine. Don't come up all the way up. Every five heads up. Connect your shoulder blades. Do not come up all the way up, guys. Keep that five through. 10, 15 degrees angle. Your knees, guys, soft. This is it. We've got this. Perfect. We already, guys, 10 through my friends. This is it. Stay with me. Push it. 15. Scoop the stomach in. All right, guys, it's one is through. My glutes feeling it, my back feeling it. Shoulder blades connected. One, two, three. We've got this, four. Last five reps, my friends. This is it. 
Good job. Well, let's do just in case. Couple more. This is good. Definitely sturdy. Definitely sturdy. I like to do a little bit more to make sure that we're not staying short. All right, guys, drink your water. Your next exercise coming. This is your hip thruster. We, it's a, we're doing simple hip thrust, but we're pounding on the weight. So take a good, decent, heavy weight. I'm going to be using 30 pounds. Single dumbbell, 30 pounds. This is my heaviest dumbbell. As per today, I probably need to have a 40 pounder once well, since I have to 20 pounds. But for the hips raster, one dumbbell is definitely a little bit more comfortable than two. So I'm gonna stick with 30 pounds. If your weight is very heavy, please make sure you be very careful. You can put it any way. This way is probably more comfortable, depends on the weight you have. Remember, we do not hold the dumbbell. We just support it. The weight is on your hips. 30 reps, begin. The rest through the heels. Guys, squeeze the glutes on top. Five through. Try not to touch the floor. If you do, don't rest those hips. It's a constant resistance, constant work. Ten through, guys. I start to feel it. All right, my friends, halfway. Fifteen. Push it. We already 20. The last 10 guys. One, two, we got this. Three, four, five, a little bit higher. Six, seven. Give me a couple more reps with the quality guys. One more just in case for everyone to be sure. Come on up. All right, that was a good weight. Even though I'm pretty sure I could do it with 40 pounds by now, we're getting stronger. All right, guys, drink your water. Your next exercise in this block is your skier squat swing. I picked 12 pounds weight for this exercise. And we're doing, guys, 30 reps. That's gonna be challenging. 12 pounds for me, it's not really heavy, but for skier squat for 30 reps, I'm sure it will be. All right, I'm gonna stay aside wide, wise as well, so you guys can see the form better. Shoulders up, back and down. I want to see a decent squat, good swing. Do not use your wrist, use those arms. Dumbbells on the position, 30 total, here we go. I'm gonna give you heads up every five. It's easier breakdown. It feels like we're climbing the ladder. Five through, guys, already. Don't backbend too much, squat. It looks like you backbend in a little bit, but you actually squat and swing, 10 through. We are halfway through, guys. Careful, don't hit your legs. When the arm's getting tired, I just did. All right. We are 20 through, my friends. Last 10. Muscle up, everyone. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. One more, guys. Perfect. That was very demanding. All right, for the next exercise, guys, take a look at the screen. This is your burpee. There is no compound, nothing, but I'm gonna use 20 pounds for 20 burpees. If you want to do them without weights, that's totally fine. All right. It's gonna be a little bit or a lot challenging to get up from the burpee, but we can do it. Make sure if you do the dumbbells, those have a square edges, begin. This is good. We have only 20, guys. My beginners, you can step. You don't have to jump. Five through, guys. Very demanding workout. Just as I described it at the beginning. But guess what? We are almost 600 reps through already. We have only 10 left. Come on up. It's getting harder. Let's go, guys. 40 pounds is pretty tough. At the last five reps, let's go. Let's move, team. Time is flying. It's already been over, slightly over 40 minutes. We're almost done. Couple more reps. All right, muscle up, friends. Let's go. We did it together. All right. For your sit-ups, you can pick any weights, guys, you want. I would suggest to get a lighter weight just because we have 30 sit-ups. We're gonna do it with the bent knees for 30 reps and we will do it together, guys. All right, I know, body is getting tired. Your final block, your final 100 reps will be without the weight. So we all good, we have only a couple more exercises left for this block. Get ready guys, let's go. We have 30 reps. Your press is optional. I just decided I feel like to challenge my arms suddenly. Five through guys. We have 30 total. You can just hold your dumbbell, look, right here. And I might move to that variation as well. Then through. All right, don't be a guest, be a host. Come on, guys, do your best. This is your workout. I'm here just to guide you. You're here to do your best. All right, team. We are halfway through. We have only 15 sit-ups left. Let's go. This is your number 20, guys. We have last 10. We're done with this one, and then we have last 10 reps seated with the dumbbell for the abs. All right, team, last five. Five. Four. 
three, two, last one. Come on up. We've got this. All right. Drink your water if you have to. Otherwise, we have only 10 reps left. It's going to put us to 600 out of seven. This is your guys. Double leg crunch. We start with extended legs in the sweet spot. Your dumbbell is your optional. We're just gonna hold it. Get ready, set, here we go. Only 10 reps, guys. Try to reach the dumbbell. Five to go. Let's go, guys. One, two, three, four, five. We did it. So you don't need your weights anymore. Let's rock this dumbbell. Quickly, guys, drink your water. And we have only final 100 reps left for this CrossFit style workout challenge. Cheers, my friends. 600 reps. I can say it fly by really quickly. It was challenging. But here we go. Last 100. All right. Your first exercise. Here, guys, is your mountain climber. You don't have to do swing. Take a look at the demo. This is for my intermediate and advanced. Your swings. If you're not doing swing, you do just step, guys. Next to your hand. Prepare. Only 20. 10 on each side. Here we go. Step. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't stop. 10. Oh, we have 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, and last five, guys. Five. Four, three, two, one. And we're done with 20 reps. We have 80 left. Your next 20, guys, is your dolphin plank punch. We're gonna stay in the dolphin plank and reach with a punch. Take a look at your demo if it's not clear. My beginners, put your knees on the floor if you have to. Otherwise, let's go one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, my friends, hit it. Last eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Your next morning reps, guys, is your side bear crawl leg through. I'm gonna go this way so we can crawl a good substantial distance. Bear is gonna crawl to the side, down the leg through. Take a look at your demo on the position. Here we go. Give me a big crawl leg through, guys. Two reps. That was two reps. One side cool is the one rep. All the way through, guys. This is good. This is a demanding exercise for core, abs. Now give me good form, please. All the way legs through. This is it. Believe or not, 10 reps through. Let's go. This is probably the most challenging exercise of this block. We've got this. My quads are screaming. Bear is barely crawling, but still 
We have last, guys. Three reps, including this one. Let's go. Good job, guys. Come on, last one. This is it. This was a demanding 20 reps of the bear. Your next exercise, guys, is your jackknife. Drink your water if you have to. Jackknife. Use your towel if you need. All right, guys, 20 reps, and then it's gonna take us to 80, and we hop all together. Only 20 reps left for the final exercise after this one. All right, 20 jack jackknives we used to. Let's begin. One, two, give me quality, three, four, lift the hips. Five, six, seven. Amazing team. We have only 10 of the jackknives left. Here we go. One, two, three. A little bit higher. Heels up, goes down. Four, five. Nobody weight on the neck. Six. Seven. Couple more, guys. Super strong team. Let's go. Last one. Perfect. All we have left, my friends, is 20 reps of the double leg lift. If your abs not strong enough for double leg lift or you simply get tired and it's impossible for you to commit to the good form, you will finish strong with a single leg lift only. And that is okay. We will take our arms all the way along the body, activate the lower abs and middle abs, your abdomen in general. We begin the movement in the center, guys, not in your feet. Here we go, one, two. I count, I promise. I'm not gonna make you this time, couple extras. This is it. Five through, guys. We've got this. Keep your lower back as close to the floor as possible. Up screaming, team. I know, keep your shoulders on the floor. All right, we have only 10 left, my friends. One team, two, try not to bend your knees, please. Three, let's finish with amazing strong form. Four, five, six, I got you guys. Seven, I'm not gonna leave you alone. Eight, we have a couple more super strong ones. I think we missed one. I truly think so. Let's do last one. Excellent work. Bend your knees, guys. Drink your water if you have to. Otherwise, come on up with me to your seated position. And we have a couple minutes of a good quality stretches. So come on down, my friends, and just sit nice and level. And all we're gonna do we're gonna reach to our toes. Take a good quality inhalation. And if your body allows you, on exhalation, go ahead and fold forward a little bit deeper. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And maybe on another exhalation, a tiny little more. That was a definitely demanding workout. Lately, probably, maybe not the most, but one of the most challenging ones. And we did it, guys, super strong. I'm so proud of you, the magic words, because I am so proud of you. I'm doing it with you and I know how hard it is. So put your, put your ankle behind. If that is not there, then you can fold your foot inward. We're holding it, guys, for a few 
for just a few seconds. For four, guys. For three, four, two. Come on, back up and we ready to switch. We're gonna keep this leg like extended in the other ankle behind. If that doesn't work for you really well, you will hold that back leg to the front. Let's hold it for just a few seconds. Four, three, two, excellent. And come on back up. Today, we're gonna go for the full Virasana. If you can't not do that, sit on your feet today. In the yoga practice, we normally don't do it because it's not gonna improve, but today, if you can sit in between or you don't have any pillow handy, just go ahead and sit on your feet. We will hold it or we pull forward. This is a very good stretch for the hips and lower back. That's why I'm including it today to our stretches. And again, if you have an extra few minutes today, just go ahead and do 10, 15 minutes of yoga practice to finalize your workout for today, especially after such a demanding session. Come on up your way, guys. We will finish our stretches in a cap and cow. Just a simple up and down movement. Reach up just a couple times and reach back down. All the way inside the nose. All it's through the nose. And one more. And let's go ahead and stretch in the downward facing dog before. We will stand up to take a deep breath in, deep breath out, and let's slowly walk back, go ahead and hold forward. Some of you might be able to hug the ankles, and slowly vertebra by vertebra. Come on back up, my friends. Step a little bit wider, inhalation. Exhalation, I am so proud of you. Team, so proud of you. That was such a demanding workout, challenging endurance, stamina, and strength. And we did it together as a team. So rest well, guys. Recover well. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and enable your bell button so I can help you to stay on top on your daily fitness. Leave me, guys, comments down below and help me to share the videos with others. I can't do it without you and I will see you all tomorrow.